It's Thursday, it's 8 o'clock, and it's the Big Detecting Show. How are you, Adrian? I'm all right, thanks, Dave. Yourself? All I'm good? all right. I can, I can see this black ear just at the bottom of your screen. It's just popping up every now and again. Oh, there's a little right. nose. I've got a badger on my lap. Oh, my God, Lord. It's... What have we talked about? Having badges on your lap. It's very confused. <laughs> um... <laughs> Just got in from the walk and it nearly fell in a badger hole. But um, it's, it's, I've just put his nappy on and it's just trying to get off to sleep. It's just just had two Farley's rusks. Have you milk, had it, so had it bitty? Uh, no, no, bitty, bitty. Um, okay. Yeah, good week. Um, I was fancy this week, have I? No, I've honestly may have been absolutely chock-a-block at work. It's been, um, it's been a full-on busy week. Um, I, I, I got all confused with me adverts and everything then. I usually have a set playlist, and because I was late, obviously, generating the show and getting to you, uh, I was pressing the wrong buttons, uh, so oh, things weren't in the order normally. I've, and I'm, I'm great at pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, so if, if anybody would, would like to do us the pleasure of sharing the show around tonight, we'd much appreciate that, because I haven't got a clue where I've actually shared it to, because uh, I was, like, rushing, so... I'm all right. Are you all right? You're all right. Been detecting this week? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. No, um, no, oh, 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 yeah. I've got a new permission. Um, 11th century, well, that goes back that old house, big, big country house with loads of pasture. And I've basically the couple have lived there for over 30 years and it's never been detected on since they've been there because they didn't want anyone. And then the, the lady who owns the house and her husband, her brother has got a permission up north, your way, where two Roman hordes have been found. And he oh, got way. a bit of money. Yeah, and he got a bit of money from it. And she said, oh, I quite like the sound of this. So I went and checked it out on Sunday, yes, with the legend. Mm. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it was... Uh, didn't find much because I was just sussing the place out and stuff because it's so big. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm going out tomorrow afternoon and Saturday as well. So, Legend well, was, was interesting. Was, um, yeah. With, but, with the uh, update. Yeah, it went, it, it was shit. The one I've had has had one, yeah, the update. But, yeah, it's um, interesting. Chris has got one as well, who's coming, Christopher Rogers is coming on. But, yeah, and it's just the weather. It's snowing today. What's all that about? Last Mate, week, I was... mental. I've seen every single possible British element today. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was, it was absolutely awful. I have got trousers on; it's just licking my hand. Um, yeah, so uh, I think once the weather gets a little bit warmer, hopefully at the weekend, I'll get out. Good, good. I'm supposed to be going out with Shane this weekend. Um, just uh, well, he's got a new site that they do want to go on, and. Um, I'm. Uh, I, I don't want to push them to say, "Oh, like me, come to me." It's a new permission. I want them to go over there and, and do their own thing before they, they start bloody inviting other people on. So, and next week I've got a wedding, so it might be out next week. Some of these sent me a message. Hope I'm well. I've no idea who that is because it's just come up. Facebook user. Uh, oh. hmm. Tidy treasure hunter. Uh, send me the link of the bloke. Making killer weapons in Ireland. Its name is Michael Cthulhu. Uh, his group. It should be on my wall, Steve. If you go onto my Facebook profile, you'll find it on there definitely. I shared it a couple of days ago. Legend. Oh, Facebook user. I'm going to the excavation tomorrow on the Roman soldier that was found this week in Barry, Wales. Ooh, marvelous. I'm just trying to catch up with the messages here because I didn't have it yeah. on because I was faffing about. Supper and the, <laughs> my broken toe still Scott broken. Oh, Scotty B is it? Oh, it addicted to bleeps, is it? What's going on oh. in your house? I said, I said, he's got a secretary. She does right. all his admin. That's okay. what it is. Well, so. great week, great show last week. Uh, the legend was won. Um, you communicated with the the chap who won the legend. Yes, uh, I'm coming. Sorry, he's in out, Tiger. Lots Sorry. of banging and you saying that's a bit wrong. I wish. Um, <laughs> yes, I've forgotten his name. 
Um, but the gentleman who won it is over the moon and he lives down in Southampton, I think. Um, Brilliant. And he's really, really pleased. And uh, I think he should receive that this week, shouldn't he? Excellent. David? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And it was a good show as well. We had a lot of great feedback and uh, hopefully some of them people will pop along and uh, see tonight's guest with us, who, again, is another top-notch guest who uh, I don't watch many YouTube videos, uh, mainly because most of them are crap. I'm not going to name names, but we all know who they are. Uh, but Mr. Bleeps and his um, trials and tribulations and his... Um, Adventures and his glamping and his van life. I always watch them. And his ace. Uh, and his secret tunnels and bunkers and electric bikes. Beach and we werewolf farms. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and camper vans. And I can vehicles. actually, I can actually see him there. He, he's, he's biting his nails at the moment. Now he's he's pick, fiddling about with something underneath. Now he's picked something up, putting it down. Now he's got yes. his cravat on and he's he's got his his cigarello. Oh, scratching his nose and uh, oh, hang on. His, his PA has just said he can come in. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, yeah. Now I see what's going on here. You've been boring he me. Absolutely. I didn't see me. I could have been up to anything then. Well, we we know I was watching. <laughs> you have got trousers on. How are no. you, young man? I never wear trousers ever. Yeah, I'm good, buddy. How are you doing? You're I'm really little. Right. I'm all right. Why are you Who's so small? Me? Yeah, you look at your little head. I've yeah, never yeah. met me in reality. That's yeah, we need to change that. Though. Camera's so far away. Yeah, Did you do that? Me. Did you do that with the cartoon on purpose? So you uh, on top of the cartoon? I see what you see. There he is. But actually, your head looks massive in that instance. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing? Sorry, AJ, you've been up today, mate. Sorry? You've been out today. You've been detecting today. No. Do you know what I did today? I had the day off and I was going to go detecting. But I thought, oh, um, it's my birthday soon. So I treated myself to a barbecue. And oh, oh my, sorry, excuse the dog. Uh, what a nightmare putting a barbecue together. Oh, my Lord. Quite a big one. Um, but I did that. And uh, with the ferret under my foot, badger, and that ripped all the box, <laughs> polystyrene. You know what it's like, a puppy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put barbecue together. So getting ready for this heat wave we've got this weekend. It, it's funny um, what you said back there about the uh, Farley's Rusks uh, milk and nappies, because if I eat Farley's Rusks and drink too much milk, I need nappies. Do you? Oh, because you feel, yeah. Um, yeah. But I, they were, I don't know if you can still get Farley's Rusks, but I used to love them. Yeah, you Not can. Not as a child. Can. As an adult, but oh. they're sugar free now, I think, and they've got all the oh. good stuff. They, they don't taste anything like they used to. No, they used to life, be really sweet. Yeah, life's sugar free now, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Good. It's all <laughs> good. They're good. They're good. It's like the discussion we were having before, and Dave, about like lyrics and, and bands that wouldn't be able to make it today. <laughs> Most uh, of our youth is just gone. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, Plasto Patricia, right? <laughs> Ian Drury in the Blockheads. Yeah. Play that. Look, play that. I'm re I'm replying to people in the comments whilst I'm talking to you. That's bloody multi-efficient, that is. It's not your PA. I'm like a metal detector that should work. To right. He's, he's, he's on form, Dave. He's more organised than us. He is. He is. And he hasn't even, uh, it's an interesting background you got there, Chris. What do you mean? Brasso, Al... That's 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 I'm drinking that at the moment. That's my alcohol. The yeah. owl is the all seeing eye to keep an eye on everything ethereal around the room. The this is a Nefertafla board. I made the board. Do you know what Nefertafla is? Nefertafla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I keep, Viking, if I keep yeah, it yeah. So well, I the only, the only difference is I say it very different. I say <laughs> Yeah, yes, 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 because of your head today. But anyway, like this, <laughs> this is um so i made the board and then one of my viewers individually made the pieces for me oh that meant wow. look at that how cool is that man that was edo my friend edo he's become a friend of mine and we talk all the time he's dutch and look it's just he's done all of the pieces uh and like man when you, cool when you that? said that though when you said edo twice then does that mean he's double dutch Oh, 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 I didn't say it twice. You just you needed a reason. Edo, Edo. 
<laughs> hey, though. Oh, do they? Yeah. Watch <laughs> on replay. Edo, Edo. Double Dutch. Oh, okay. I'll look that back. Double Dutch I drinking this... bloody German beer. These are, shush, shush. These are my hammers up here. Some have some hammers in those awesome little cases that I did, did video on recently. There's oh. my YouTube plaque that I don't deserve. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, your YouTube plaque. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. I, I cheated. Yeah. <laughs> they actually yeah, sent you that, did they? Yeah, man. But now I found with sci finds. <gasps> yeah, lovely. That's a torpedo lovely. bottle. Yeah, anyways, yeah, I'm talking about that stuff. What did you want to talk about? Why am I here for? Why are you wasting my time? How did, you know about, how did you get to know Sci, Sci Finds? Um, um, I'd, um, I think he just kind of reached out and said, do you want to make a video? And I went, yeah. <laughs> and then we made a video. That's how collaborations tend to work. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's a cool guy, man. He's, he's, again, he's become um, a friend, a good friend. It, the people I tend to collaborate with, I tend to stick, uh, stay in contact with, become <laughs> they become a mate. Because yeah. Cy, si, he's, he's he's been on the show, uh, and he did one of the best shows. Well, I personally enjoyed. Um, he did a sort of in memory of I've got the guy's name, Dave. John Wells. Um, John, not John Wells. Not John Wells. Not John Wells. Uh, the guy who oh, someone will say it in the chat. The guy who um, had been detecting since like the early seventies, and he there was a documentary made in the seventies about him. And Sai went to meet him, and he's been detecting all these years. And he John met, Webb, he, John Webb, yeah. And it's one of my best series watching it because it's got clips in there. And the guy he went out with like a, it wasn't even a sea scope; it was something from America, which he brought for like fifty dollars in nineteen seventy two. And he went Epping Forest. He did mudlarking on the Thames before every one with a metal detector. And his finds were absolutely amazing. If you watch it, Chris, on YouTube, John Webb. Um, yeah, man. So I did a really, really good thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah I will check that out. Yeah, it, but he's, he's a nice bloke. And But when we had him on, he started going on about the hovercraft and everything. It's like, what? Is it like, oh, yeah. into it? Weird coincidence, right? This is a re really, really strange coincidence. So you I, you one? No, no, no. I was being interviewed by a dude from The Telegraph um, last week because he's writing a book about metal detecting. And I was in the pub being interviewed, but we're just chatting to this guy. And uh, Mark was there and Millie was there. You know, Millie is um, stinging weed. Uh, and, you know, quickly, I'll just tell you, Millie come in and just gave this guy, like the journalist, a, a, a random package of, uh, of tin foil and tin foil. I like, hadn't met the guy ever. I just gave it to him. Like, oh, thanks. What's this? Well, it's a pork pie. He's like, I don't. <laughs> I don't want a pork pie. You can have it back. It was like, oh, right, fair enough. I'll eat it. <laughs> <We're in the pub. laughs> anyway, <laughs> just completely random. Anyway, um, so me and Mark, we were all um, talking about metal detecting. And then this guy, sorry, mate, just overheard your conversation. I have a YouTube channel where I get on a hovercraft and I shoot around looking for treasure, etc. I went, do you know a bloke called Sci Fi? He said, yeah, he's one of my best mates. <laughs> Who was that? Who just let How it? How weird is that? It was Adrian's no, doggy. It's, dog. it's, it's, it's the dog. It's the dog. Growling. Sweet Lord, oh, man. I think I'm going to have to open the window down here for that one. Good <laughs> no, Lord, it, man. It, Did you hear it, that? He will trump in a minute. No, it wasn't oh, me. I've, that had, I've that had bits in it. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. taste it. Oh, it, will, it will do. It's, it's going to go to sleep in a minute. Um, but yeah, I, I, when he went on the hovercraft, that was amazing because I ever since Why Don't You was on, uh, do you remember that in the uh, in the eighties? Why Don't You switch off? To yeah, yeah, it's awesome. sort of like they try and teach you how to make a hovercraft in your hovercraft in your back garden <laughs> or a go kart run off of two escort starter motors, you know. Um, but so you yeah, went, you, went, you, you wouldn't see that nowadays, would you? Like again, no, talk no, about like old no. school rock music. How to kill yourself in a hovercraft, kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 but Sai, he's, he's, a, he's a nice guy, and he, I like his videos, and I also like the way he, he turns a lot of his stuff into art, doesn't he? No, he's not. He's, he's also the, mouth he's the, only is person, the, the only <laughs> person who's come on the show on a high-backed leather armchair as well. Yeah, he looked like Which the guy from Bygones. Yeah, Bygones in the uh, 80s <laughs> or 70s. 
I feel like I've been talking to medieval peasants after I've spent an hour with him. Disgusting <laughs> creature. Were you, you I'm joking. Did you go, I'm joking. Did you, I, I love that guy. Did you go to the pub before you went mudlarking? We always go to the pub. No, before you went mudlarking, because that could be dangerous, couldn't it? Um, can't remember. But what we did get was COVID flu. We got we got oh. a pretty bad dose when we came back. Um, but I didn't have COVID. I just had normal flu. And ironically, he was over his COVID after about three days. And I bloody had flu for for ages. Took about three weeks to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm in. Anyway, yeah, really bad. But you've been all right. Was. The last couple of weeks, what have you been up to then, Chris? What's been going on in the world of? I've uh, been um, doing. I've been doing loads of metal detecting. I've been trying to sort out my stupid YouTube channel. Um, I've been. Um, I've just been. Yeah, I've just been doing stuff, man. I've just been on the road. I've been um, um, making stuff in the van and just just been a busy boy. Yeah, yeah, metal detecting mostly though. To be honest with you, trying to get this old to gold challenge completed as well. Because I want that yeah. gold brilliant. I want to con- conclude that. Oh, and I've been I've been testing the new um, Fusion Light as well. You know what that is? The ground scanning, three, the three D ground scanning uh, no, no, no. technology. I mean, right, it's okay. Fusion oh, one, sorry. It's uh, it's an OKM Fusion Light, and it's technology by a, a German company called OKM, uh, and it's very likely the Germans are very very efficient. Sorry to use that cliche, but it, it is mostly true. And what it is, is uh, it's not like geophys, but it's similar, but it will detect metals, but you can just walk, if you have a pole, and then you walk over, and you walk backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and backwards and forwards, and it gives you a uh, an image of what is beneath the soil. But it also tells you that what metals, and if there's hordes there, et cetera, as well. It's this forward-thinking technology, uh, and it goes down to 26 foot. And this is just, this is the lowest range of metal detectors. So I went, I'm doing. I should have a video released tomorrow where I, I test it out a little bit with Lucas. Uh, but I did it over a Roman bath, and you can clearly see the baths, the Roman baths with this thing. Man, it is amazing. Uh, and then right at the end of the Roman baths, baths is a perfectly round clump of metal uh, about 25 foot. But like, wow, obviously I'm never going to be able to dig that up because it's the Roman boss are a protected site. But like, you know, it just gives you a kind of inkling as to what this new tech is, is doing. Uh, yeah, it's phenomenal. Wow. So I'm testing that out at the moment. But it's, I mean, that's that that is the lowest range of their brand, and it's five and a half grams. So this is proper professional treasure hunting stuff. It's not like that thing that what was that thing? Uh, it was ten grand. And it was just a fad some time ago i can't remember where it was this is proper stuff yeah really cool man. it's on uh the, the range is on joan allen website isn't it if i recall yeah probably yeah. there's a good chance yeah, yeah uh, because they everyone's like, like, <laughs> 25 grand or something it, it, that's a little laptop doesn't it with it or a netbook or something like that so it, it comes with the unit itself which is a, a really light pole it comes with a it, it gives you a windows pc which is but kind of ironic because that's what I'm going to need to use to update my legend, and it comes with a free Galaxy mobile phone. You can update your legend with the Mac. Can you? Wow, I'm looking at you it on there, Joe. Now I've got. I'll bring. You it couldn't up before, could you? They've done it just for you, Chris. Yeah, but um, no, but, but yeah, done you, as well. You, you can now. Um, okay, cool. At, at that machine, could you use it on your own, the EKM thing? Or, or would yeah. you need two people? You, yeah. you don't need two people. Oh, look, here we go. Yeah, it, it's ridiculously light. It's it's a pole, and then you have you have the mobile app, right? and you're monitoring what's going on in the, in the app as you're walking. So it's giving you um, an idea of what's going on in real time. Yeah? And then what you do is you hit done or whatever it is, scan, and then it will give you an image. And then you push 3D, and you can look. At the 3D imaging, <laughs> like Star Wars, uh, but then you can scroll right in and find teeny little bits of um, ferromagnetic activity and stuff like that. It's really, really cool, and it's probably wow. where metal detectors yeah. are going to end up going to, I think, in the future. Is this the one, yeah? yeah? That's it, brother. That's the one. Cool, they yeah. trust you five grand. 
five grand's worth of kit. You, that you can take that on your bike. Well, I had a problem with it. I somehow turned all of the text into Arabic. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I did. It's like trying to read noodles, isn't it? But just get some noodles right at the wall. And it's, that's what Arabic looks like to me. I haven't got a bloody clue what's going on. So then I had to refigure out how to get it back to English via, well, witchcraft, basically. I got there in the end, so I've been yesterday. But it, you should, I mean, Dave, uh, well, both of you. Check out the finds and the treasures that have been found with OKM machines. And check out all of the hidden cavities that they've been finding in Egypt using OKM machines. Ah. This is like, you know, this is cool, man. And uh, I, think, I think, is it tomorrow? I'm going to go to a, I went to my World War II maps. And there's bunker activity. And now it's just a field on my position. Nothing there. So I'm going to take the OKM machine and I'm going to see if I can locate this bunker and look into it more wow. in a 3D environment. Yeah, oh, cool. Wow. I'll be well interested. Stuff, yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you showing the, are you showing the um, actual footage from the scan on your YouTube channel when you. I'm showing the footage. Yes. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do. It's only a quick me with. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not like one of my professional videos. It's just like, let's have a quick look what it does. Um, and then we look at some scan footage and it's just on my phone. But I need to get it off the Galaxy. I'm not an Android user or PC user, but I need to get the, the information off of that. And then, yeah, I'll do a proper video. But the Windows notebook, so you get the, you get, you've got the app and then you can scan all of the data there. And then you put it into the Windows app and then it's like, what, uh, sorry, on the Windows computer, and you can really look at the 3D imaging and look at stuff and what is that down there and what the hell is that over there? Yeah, it's really exciting, forward thinking stuff, um, which is nice because it's it's much fresher and nicer than this kind of like copy and paste metal detector mentality, which seems to be going on recently. <laughs> I'm I'm ve for one very excited. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm laughing at you drinking um Cronenberg. I thought you German. didn't drink German. I think German. <laughs> I'm joking. Drink. I know you drink. I know you drink. It's French. Um, you you uh, yeah, you French. illiterate, uncultured fool. Not German. Like La première bière française. I said it right there. You. Beer's, beer's the bloody slap be when I see you next. Beer's going to be. Beer's Beer's going to be going up soon. All, all the what's kicking off in the world. They saw. I'm just going to become a. Well, what am I going to do? I've been. I'm just going to become a heroin addict. Well, uh, all uh, of, um, everything's gone up. What else am I? How else am I going to get my kicks now? <laughs> homebrew. Everyone's going to be doing homebrew. I've done it a few times. And, uh, Turbo I cider. I, I reckon that will give Chris, me the Chris, dip. Chris, Chris, trust me. Turbo cider. Trust me. What? What's turbo trust cider? Me. Turbo cider. Basically, again, honestly, mate, I was making turbo side. I actually made somebody go blind. True story, right? Apple juice from Aldi. <laughs> put it in your damage, John. With I was putting bread yeast in with it. Uh, obviously, let it do its fermenty, blah, blah, Great blah. Yeast. Top it up. And then when it's ready, after about 12 days, siphon it into your bottles with uh, your sugar and your sweetness yeah. for sweetness. Sugar turns into alcohol, makes it thingy. Yeah, Leave yeah, it to cool. for a few more days. 7.5% off that. Bread, yeast, and apple oh, juice. Oh, that's Trust nice. Me. That's just nice. Do, just do a, oh. write it down and do a Google, mate. Yeah. It'll cost you about a, park, a quid. I'll, I'll be sitting on a park bench talking to God in no time. We'll be talking to God, though, even. I don't know, honestly. Well, we're, I was even <laughs> made, I made, I made one of them, right? Uh, I used a litre of vimpto as opposed to a leap one of the liters of apple juice and it was vimpto it was just like drinking alcoholic vimpto it was ace and some of the recipes yeah. that you can find mate honestly you won't need to buy alcohol again oh we're looking you will that. you will die you will die but you will be you'll be all right that's right i'm not overdue that anyway the discriminator metal stepped in has said where is that yucky cronenberg he's gonna get a dead arm next time i see him i like cronenberg I prefer it out of a can, though, than tap. But anyway, we could talk all night about beer. Chris, we yes, start sorry. talking metal detectors, because you, you did a video last week, or the week before, I think, um, testing out what your, was it best value machine for money? No, just what the best one was. What the best one? What the best one? 
Not best <laughs> That's all right. I've been facetious. It was the best one that I've used over the last couple of years, and it was a review of a bunch of metal detectors, excluding the Rutus Ultra 71, and there was another one in there, just because I didn't have them to hand. They're in my attic. Uh, not saying that's because of the play machines. machine. God, I was the Amphibio with the other one. Uh, no, the Rutus Ultra 71 was brilliant. Uh, but yeah, yeah, and I just kind of like did a summary of what I thought was the best uh, machine. And I, I have a statement, a written statement that I've been told to read by my solicitor here. Um, can I, am I okay to do this? Yeah. Am I okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Um, it's Because it, I said something in that video, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to um, just read this out quickly. Um, it says, um, legend good, find metal underground, twice i don't know who i don't know who wrote this this is awful all other metal detectors bad uh i'm sorry yours sincerely addicted to bleach there yeah. that's what my <laughs> my solicitor has told me to read out so hopefully that's going to clear that up now and i'm not going to get in any more trouble yeah because you um you you, you had the <laughs> early, early early uh uh legend didn't you so was it was that the early yeah. one? Well, you didn't have the soft. You haven't got the software update on it, have you? I don't think. The no, and that was what I was trying to point out in that video before people started getting all silly and lobbing spears at me. I did say that this is the one that it hasn't been updated yet. So I haven't got around to updating it yet. Um, I probably will do one day. <laughs> After eight cans of Cronenberg. Um, yeah, but you it's, it's an interesting uh, video, though, because in there is some of the not-so-popular machines. Um, you didn't have the <laughs> Evo in there. I don't know why, but... Um, no, the Evo was in there. Was it? Was it? Oh, yeah, it was, was it? It was holding it was them a, all up. Yeah, I said it was a waste of time, awful. Go back to the drawing board, stop wasting my time, basically what I but said. It, it, it was all right, though. Early on, wasn't it? It was yeah. sort of fit in there, and then it yeah, all really pear shaped, didn't it? Because we both fed fiddled, didn't we? And... Yeah, man. Yeah, and then he fiddled with it and didn't listen to us. Um, mm. Well, it, it, I'm not entirely sure. He either didn't listen to us or he couldn't complete what we were trying to tell him because he just <laughs> was just one guy. Well, I don't know. Yeah, just yeah, a calamity, calamity. That was calamity. I think they should just go back to the. Um, uh, drawing board and just start again with that project because they're not gonna i mean the idea was it was going to rifle the nox but it's never gonna it's never gonna do that it, it wasn't much frequency for a start and it's just it felt dated on from the off mm. uh, but yeah it started the right i did a couple of videos on it on the seascope channel it was pretty cool and then yeah, it i just... found a hammered with one of mine uh with well i had i think i got through four in the end because certain things went wrong on them and that. Um, yeah, but, I, yeah, <coughs> yeah, I found one too. Yeah, and you know, so it was capable of finding metals. But let's face it, though, AJ. I mean, there's loads and loads of mid-range, you know, awful metal stetters out there that are capable of finding metals. Yeah, I think mine was only like an inch down or something. So, uh, and it, and it, you also had to have separate coils for different frequencies, didn't you, on it as well? And it all. It doesn't matter. Like, but, I mean, if they'd given out 50 of them to YouTubers, you know, statistically, they would have found something and made it look really, really good. I think they could mm. have started up with a gang, a group, and called it something. Um, the Evolutionists. Yeah, I'm just thinking out of the box a little bit, you know. Um, oh. Anyway, so... But you yeah. went, it's a good video if anyone wants to watch it on Chris's channel. Um, Thank you. Some people yeah. kicked off. It, some Thank people you. kicked off, but... You were totally honest. Um, yeah, which, you know, you're not. Yeah. You're not sponsored by. You've got a Quest hat on, but you're not sponsored by Quest. You're not sponsored by C Scope. You're not. You're got, scans well, I thought that everybody whores themselves on this show. You lot have got bloody adverts all over the place. I have to sit for about twenty minutes of adverts before it even starts. So I thought I've got the opportunity, and I'll wear. I'm going to wear a Quest hat. I've got my Jerry Allen top on. Look at that. Stick that in your face. Do you know what, Chris? Yeah. Chris, Chris before the show. <laughs> Before the show started, I was looking for a Crest Quest advert and I was looking for a Joan Allen advert and I couldn't find any. Oh, get, one done. Oh, get one done. I will tell them, Dave. I will impart that I don't talk to Quest. I've never spoken to any of them. Um, I wish I, I wish I, I want to be friends with them. 
I want to meet my friends. I don't know any of them. I have my friends. Sorry. It's because they're orange, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's got nothing to do oh, with the machines. God, no. What do you think of it, man? Of course not. It's bloody, yeah, of course. It's orange and black, man. Uh, you know, but yeah. It's interesting because Quest, I had a Quest oh, about six years ago. Um, I can't remember what it was, Q40, I think. And I was so excited when I got it because for what they are now, there's a lot of features on there, waterproof, everything. And telescopic shaft, shaft, got it in, Dave. And um, there was, but, there was, but you didn't get shaft and come in the same sentence, did you? Oh, um, nope. uh, <laughs> and Quinn, that, and that would um, be busless. <laughs> and basically, um, it, they, they originally had a few problems with the early quests. I think you know a lot of people and a new brand coming to market, there was issues with the coils. And mine had an issue with the coil. It was overly sensitive and it was like, uh, uh, sensitivity has to be low. And and I sold it in the end. But then suddenly I got the Q30 about, what, two years ago. And I was like, oh, oh, that's going to have the bugs and things like that. And then I was like, oh, my God, this this is really nice. It's telescopic. It's waterproof. Uh, I can update it. On my phone, no leads. On your, just on your phone. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's or, or your thinking, laptop. is it? That's what well, Root, to, Root. PC to get that working. Well, routers do it now, but this yeah. is like two years ago. But um, everybody should be doing all, that. Yeah, they should because everyone has a phone, don't they? And then yeah, yeah. It had, it's got an app, the Quest app, where you can track your finds around the field. It's a bit buggy, but it works. And then mm-hmm. there's a special Quest. Um, it looks like Facebook, but it isn't. And it's all Quest users on it. And there's no one mm. like, oh, mine's better than yours. And there's people all over the world. I was like, this ain't bad for like 300 odd quid. And mm. then I took it out and I found some good stuff with it. Um, really good stuff with mm. it. And I wrote a review for Treasure Hunting. And uh, mm-hmm. I've, I've still, well, I did have the machine, but I sent it to someone's son um, who's using it now. Um, but what, what was your one first? There. Yeah, he's got his Q. He's, he's, I gave him his Dave's son my Q30. I've still got oh, the Q60. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. his, his son wanted a nice, easy machine, which they are. They're easy to use, aren't they? If you want to just yeah, yeah. turn it on and go. But yeah. when, 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 when did you first hear and find out about Quest, Chris? I, had no, I, 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 knew, I knew nothing about, like pretty much the rest of the world of, and the metal sector community, I know and knew nothing about them at all but it was only when i kind of like started um doing stuff for joan allen and and luke and joan allen said like yeah look we've got this quest range do you want to try them and like i said in the video i thought this is gonna suck mm-hmm. like now i've got to like use these horrible metal sectors and i'm gonna have to say to joan allen i'm sorry i can't use these metal sectors and that's gonna be like you know cause a rip I thought, oh god so I, I started on the x5 which is the lowest model Oh god, this is gonna be so bad. This is gonna suck. God, <laughs> this is gonna be worse than the Evo. Anyway, and I started. Oh, actually, yeah, I started finding a few bags, a couple of coins. Like, Hold on a second, here. This is like, it's like 169, 149 quid or something. And then um, I just had really good results with it, and it was so quick and so pick upable, and so it felt durable. And they got that kind of like galvanized rubber, you know, not plasticky. You don't feel yeah. like they're they're just you know like a toy and they look good they look like a little mobile phone they're sleek and they're cool and I, uh, he went yeah all right no worries he went do you want to try the x10 i was like yeah okay then went out the x10 bam three hammers with a budget machine easy good depth notch out stuff um again pick up and go you can pull it all of the ground settings back down use it on the beach uh and i was like oh okay then this is cool then i started getting really excited about the brand hey these guys have got something these guys yeah, these guys have got some bits. 